Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Minding Your Moss, episode 15. Today we're talking about a 2700 batteries. What the heck has been going on the past few months? It's been a lot of changes. We're going to go with some of them here. Some bad news, some good news hopefully coming up and give you a better idea of what's out on the market for 2700s now because I'm getting a lot of questions about those every single day. What's the best one? What's available? Etc. Let's dive right in. First, big problem, not big problem, but what's been going on is a lot of the companies are switching to the China manufactured cells away from the five leg top contact OEM cell that so many wrapping companies were using at the beginning of the year, they're now switching over to more widely available, maybe less expensive, uh, China manufactured cells. Now this isn't an inherently bad thing, but some of the cells do have lower ver uh, current ratings that they're using versus the 30 amp OEM cell that we'll talk about later. So now the uh, iJoy, it's one of the companies that switched over. Originally they were using the five leg top contact OEM cell, but now they're in their third version without changing the wrap, uh, which is now, I estimate it being a 20 amp battery, um, 3000 Ma, they rated it 40. Uh, next one was the VRK, which they rated at 30 amp, 3000 ma, and there was, uh, they just recently, well, I just recently found out, they changed cells. I'm not retesting any more of these things. I spent a huge amount of time in September checking a whole bunch of cells because of what was changed and not changed, trying to confirm things. I can't keep doing that. I'll never test any new cells. So I have no idea what this VRK is now. Now, some other companies have swapped cells of what they use underneath the wrap without changing the wrap. They've gone to a lower performing cell or a different cell that we don't know the ratings of. And those are the uh, Galizi S32. They rated at 30 amp, 3200 ma. Now I'm rating it at uh, 25 amps estimated, about 3000 ma. Still a decent battery, but I don't like it when they change what they're wrapping without changing the wrap just tell us, just change the wraps. It's not a big expense. Then the uh, Vapcell Gold 30 amp 3100 ma is now a uh, estimated 25 amp battery also down from 30 amps. I don't have one uh, here with me. And then the QSO Orange 30 amp. And boy, it's hard to see the printing on this. They have silver on orange. That's rated 30 amp 3100 ma by them. I estimate that as 25 amps now. Now these are still decent 25 amp batteries. In spite of the policies of the company of changing what cell they wrap without telling us anything or without changing the wraps. So you can use these at lower power levels at maybe up to uh, 15 amps, 45 watts. They're actually your better choice. They'll run a little bit longer than the next choice, which is the five leg top contact OEM cell. And you notice I have crossed out the name of the OEM. You'll find out when you get these. And typically you see it listed as INR 2700A. And it's still the highest rated 30 amp uh, 2700 when the Sanyo's aren't available. And we'll talk about those later. I mentioned here the 25 amp ones up here, still above oh, 15 amps, 45, excuse me, below 15 amps, 45 watts. These 25 amp ones will actually run a tiny bit longer in a regulated device than the OEM cell is. But when you want to go up to 30 amps, this is the one that I'm recommending now and it's in my recommended uh, new recommended batteries tables that I'm putting up. Now VAP cell and EFEST, and here is, pardon me, the EFEST and then the VAP cell, 30 amp, 3000 mAh batteries they are rewrapping, they are still rewrapping the five leg top contact OEM cell as of last month. I guarantee nothing after that. They, 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 all these cells, all the rewrap cells can change at any time. Next, we're going to talk about the Sanyos. Now, I just gotten word from a vendor, actually just a few minutes ago, uh, but also I'd heard from a couple in the industry that the Sanyo NCR 2070C, which is the best 2700 I've tested, and the Sanyo NCR 2700A will be available in some quantities. Now, VapCell has some of the C, the Sanyo C cells, 
available just recently. I think there were like 200 pair or something they had up on Alibaba. Give them a call if you're looking to find those because I don't know if they're in stock or not. Uh, the vendor who just sent me a message uh, recently said probably by the end of the year they hope to have some C's also and A's. Now Vapsal says they have the A's in a gold 30 amp 3200 mAh rewrap which is what they've always used for the Sanyo A. I don't know how many they have. I haven't tested them. I can't confirm anything. Give them a try if you want to get hold of Sanyo A's. They were the second best 2700 and they outperform the five leg top contact one but these you can find from a lot of places. IMR Batteries, Lithium Ion Wholesale had them as OEM cells. Um, a couple of companies in the UK rewrapped this. So they're available. Ask around uh, for your favorite vendors. See if they have this as a private label cell. Now, rumor is that the C, the NCR 2070Cs from Sanyo are going to be replacing the A's and the A's have reached EOL, end of life, and they will no longer be available in any kinds of quantities. There'll be little pieces here and there that get out of excess inventory when it becomes available. I don't know. I've heard that from a couple of people I trust in the industry. We'll have to see as it comes along, but if you start noticing A's become harder to find and C's become easier, it kind of confirms that. Also, for next year, uh, Molly Cell which I just recently tested, the M42A, a 20 amp 4,000 mAh cell. This is going to be the best 2700 for under about 45 watts or so. Replacing these guys over here is, is my top choices for low to moderate power levels. That's the first quarter of 2019 though. Right now they're just in sampling. I just had some early production samples I posted tests of. You can check that out on my Facebook page, um, blog at ECF, uh, ECR, Instagram, all of them have either a summary of the test or the full test report. So hopefully that'll be something that'll be coming in fairly soon and hopefully we can get a good supply of the 2070Cs because then between the Sanyos, the five leg top contact cells and then uh, the Molly cell M42A, we'll have a good range in between. We'll have backups for people who can access those from moderate, low to moderate power levels in the 25 amp ones and we'll have a pretty good range. But for the past few months, it's been really tough trying to find out what's going on with a lot of cell changes and limited availability with the Sanyos. Hopefully that all changes towards the end of the year. Thank you for watching.